Welcome to Gen AI Nerds React, where we invite experts to help us break down the generative AI world using demos, diagrams, and discussion of how it all works. Uh, did you overtrain this on the word handsome and, you know, uh, <laughs> no. engineer it, it does, look? It loves to say, like, my house is decrepit and, like, falling down and another. <laughs> it's, it's brutally honest. This one is a little more bonkers. A. It looks like A. Yikes. I shouldn't have been the obvious one. <laughs> yeah. Gen Runner Gappy is the API gateway to simplify all the calls. Then GPT can answer based on dynamic video captioning and audio transcription. Really cool. Today's episode, getting inspired by what works today. Let's give a little shout out to NVIDIA for sponsoring the show. It's pretty cool. Thanks. We're excited to have two of the OG generative AI engineers with us today. Our first guest is from a scrappy little startup called NVIDIA. He's principal engineer, Dusty Franklin. Hi, Dusty. Hey, thanks, Gary, for having me. Next, he's the founder of the Jets and Hacks community and popular YouTube channel, Jim Benson. How's it going, Jim? Well, how about with you? Good, thanks. Okay, Dusty, tell us a little bit about what you do at NVIDIA. Yeah, so I've been with the Jets and team at NVIDIA for like eight years. I always supported the community and made various GitHub projects and such. And um, you know, last year was super exciting with uh, deploying Llama and large language models and vision models. And um, so can't wait to see what 2024 brings. Indeed, that's awesome. So Jim, what's going on with the Jets and Hacks community? We're ending our 10th year here. I think we have like 300 videos on YouTube. And I think we probably have four or 500 articles on jetsandhacks.com. So congratulations on the success. Before we do the round table of demonstrations, we thought we'd put your expertise to the test with a little game we're calling, Is It Generated? It's probably better with a studio audience. One of these is born from Gen AI and the other from a human. Which one's generated? I'm gonna go with B because you probably picked A because it looks a little more generated, but it could just be like Photoshop built. Let's see, I think the real doggy is B. Uh, you know what, Jim has got it right. You you are correct. We tried to give it a the like... obvious one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are thinking it? Which one is generated? Dusty. A. Okay, Jim. It looks like A. Believe it or not, that is a uh, YouTube influencer. So let's move to uh, a text generation. Jim, which response is generated? I would think A. Okay, Dusty? I would think A. Indeed, you guys got it right. So what is the deal, Jim, with uh, like GPT and Llama and all these engines doing math? Short answer is they aren't very good at math in like up to GPT-4. Some, uh, some of the models are better at math and the, the best ones have the ability to call external plugins to do the math. Okay, so this one is just a little bit weird. We thought we'd do video, which has certainly come a long way. Lots to talk about on that. If you are a Jaren of AI fan, click subscribe. We'll keep you updated. Thanks. This is video A. Okay, and video B. Okay, Jim, which one is generated? Video B. Dusty? I'm gonna hedge my bets and go with A. Okay, Jim got it correct. Vision transformers are trained to describe an image like a human would. Compared to AI trained on very specific objects, this will be a step change in computers helping us navigate and understand the physical world and the industry is very close to making this work in real time. Just more recently, actually, like just within the past couple of days here, I'm just running on a live camera feed. So and that's what, oh. this is what it looks like when you actually just run the same prompt over and over and over again. And did, did, it, you, uh, did you overstuff this with the word handsome and, you know, <laughs> uh, no. it, it, does, it loves to say like my house is decrepit and like falling down and another <laughs> it's, it's brutally honest with with, with things but the, the cool part about this is you don't need to do like bespoke cnns or other totally vision pipeline that is totally open-ended on things so happen. first of all this is running on an edge device and then secondly yes. you're not like saying in addition if you see letters turn it into text it just is funny it just already knows all of that 
And as you guys know, uh, my brother and I started a project called Gen Runner, and um, so that's what I've been working on. So I'm excited to show you guys. We created a node board which hosts um, the first foreign nanos to uh, help build what we're calling Gappy, which is a, a generative API that calling applications a lot more simple. And then we're, we're spinning up uh, the containers in the back of it. So, you know, based on what's the newest, we are trying to make it super easy to, uh, to integrate and use. So uh, the, the web interface for it, we built out a lot and we just took the most, what we thought was the most inspiring use cases that are out there. Um, including like, all right, let's do the kitchen sink where it's it's literally a video and audio at the same time. So the back end of the of Gappy like splits it out, sends it to the various pipelines, and then puts it on like a time index. So not only you know what is being seen visually in that space, but also audio wise. And then of course you put a GPT style back end on it. You can ask things like why is the customer mad oops i can spell so and it's really it's the the prompt is being informed by the collective knowledge base of all of the image metadata that's been recognized as well as the speech recognition so the idea would be like dramatically advance what you can expect out of uh, video streams for really cool oh uh, thanks yeah so that's a wrap, guys. Thanks so much for your time. We'd hope to have you guys back on another episode soon. Cool, oh, thank you, Gary. It's a pleasure. Okay. Cheers.